lay down on the mat. As usual, knee bends if you need um, more relax in the lumbar spine. Otherwise, you can keep your legs like in Shavasana, rolled outward. Up to you to find the good position for the legs. Then roll your arms outward, slide the shoulder blades toward the waist and pull the back of your head away from the shoulders. Close your eyes, inhale deeply and exhale fully with your mouth. Release all tensions with the exhalation. <sighs> Relax your eyebrows and the skin between the eyebrows. Relax your eyes and let them sink deeper into the skull. Relax the skin of your face, unclench your jaw, and let your lips open slightly. Relax your throat, your neck, and shoulders, arms, forearms, and hands. Relax your back, the muscles of your back, and your spine, vertebra per vertebra. Relax your belly and the whole abdominal area. Relax your hips, groins, thighs, hamstrings, Relax your knees, legs, ankles and feet. Bring your attention into your breathing cycle and start observing every aspect of your breathing cycle. Which part of your body moves the most? Chest or belly? If both moves, which one moves first? Observe without changing anything. Observe simply to know yourself. Observe the length of your breathing cycle. Inhalation and exhalation have the same length or one of them is naturally longer. Observe, become a witness. Observe, like you were observing someone else's breath. Observe the small pauses between inhalation and exhalation, and between exhalation and inhalation, the small moments where everything stops, even your breath. Become aware of the four phases of your breathing cycle. Inhalation, pose, exhalation, pose. And there too, observe. Is one of the two poses longer? Observe also that your throat remain open and relaxed, also in the suspended states during the poses. Three more observing breaths. At the end of the third, take control and create a breathing cycle of the same length for inhalation and exhalation. Long, slow, steady breath. Same length, inhalation and exhalation. Long, slow, steady breath.
slowly. Start lengthening the exhalation. Create a longer exhalation. But keep your breath calm and easy. Exhalation longer than the inhalation. Long, slow, easy breath. Bring your attention on your chest and observe the muscles at the end of the inhalation. Observe the chest wide open and try and control the same muscles also for the beginning of the exhalation to lengthen your exhalation. Control the muscles of your rib cage to create a longer exhalation. You can use the same muscles also to keep the chest open during the poses. When you use the muscles of your chest to keep the chest open at the end of the inhalation, you can keep your throat open and relaxed with no effort. Long, slow, easy breath. Exhalation longer than the inhalation. Long, slow, easy breath. Start lengthening the pose between inhalation and exhalation. If you can, using the muscles of your rib cage. Inhale. Hold. Exhale with a long, slow, easy exhalation. Inhale, hold, exhale with an easy, long, slow exhalation. Keep on breathing like that at your own pace. Create a suspended breath longer than usual at the end of the inhalation. Try and use the muscles of your chest to keep the throat open and relaxed, even in the suspended state. Exhale, slowly, keep a calm and relaxed breath 
even when it's controlled like that. Three more breaths. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. At the end of your third breath, Go back to a normal breath, not controlled, and observe your body. Observe the emotion, feelings that may have risen up. Just observe. When you feel ready, roll on your right side. Stay on your right side for a brief moment before pushing with the left hand to sit up. Sit in a cross leg position. If you need, you can always sit on a bolster, on a, um, uh, on a cushion or whatever you need to keep your um, buttocks a little bit higher. Set them up, shoulder blades down, put your hands on the uh, knees and start creating circles with the lumbar spine. Try and focus just on the lumbar spine. Try not to move a lot your, um, your head. Keep your head the more that you can still. Turn also on the other side. Same thing, focus more on the lumbar spine and try not to move a lot your head. To do this, you can use a dristi, a fixed point just in front of you. It will help you be more focused. Good. Sit on the back of the mat over your uh, heels check to have the two big toes touching and exactly at the same level keep your knees as wide as the mat sternum up shoulder blades down inhale deeply with the exhalation roll your hips forward and move your chest toward the, the ground keep your arms straight allow your head to move toward the ground and pull the arms back into the shoulder socket create a wide shoulders wider than usual even in this position push your chest down toward the ground and in the meantime Push your sternum to the front of the mat and the shoulder blades toward the waist. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, keep on pushing the chest down, but lift your head and watch your um, ha uh, hands. Three breaths. Sternum toward the front of the mat, shoulders, uh, shoulders down. At the end of the third breath, slowly come up. Put your knees together. As usual, if you uh, need some uh, cushioning uh, under the um, feet or between the buttocks and the heels just take whatever you need sternum up shoulder blades down interlace your fingers just behind your back okay 
Stand them up, shoulder blades down, and straighten your arms. Keep as much as you can the palm of the hand close or touching. And move your uh, hands a little bit more to the back. Yeah, it's horrible, I know. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, and move both hands to the back. Breathe deeply on your chest. And release. Okay. Roll your hips backward. Put your hands on the ground behind your buttocks. Okay. Lift your hip, tuck your tailbone under, and start stretching your thighs. Stretch your thighs by rolling the hips backward. You can even contract your uh, buttocks. Will help you lengthen the thighs. Three breaths. And slowly, come back up. <laughs> this position is super good for digestion. So if you, <clears throat> if you have uh, just enjoyed a lot of pancakes, <laughs> then this position is just perfect. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Now, move in Dandasana. Leg straight, uh, flex feet, put your hands next to the hips, but just on the fingertips. Okay. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, roll your hips forward, push your lumbar spine forward, but keep your shoulders right over the hips. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Move your shoulders slightly to the back, Ruth. Just the shoulders. Okay. Three breaths. Bend both legs. Walk back with your uh, heels and grab both legs with your arms. Keep chest and legs completely in contact. And slowly start walking forward with your feet. Keep your chest and leg always in contact. When you feel your chest moving away from your legs, just stay there. That is your maximum for today. Relax your, um, your face, your neck. Allow the head to move toward the legs. Relax, stay there. Keep your knees together. Okay. Allow the head to relax. The neck to relax. The shoulders to relax. Five breaths. Stay there. At the end of the fifth breath, try and walk one millimeter more. 
still keeping chest and legs together. If you can, then keep on going. Otherwise, just stop and stay there for five more breaths. Find your new maximum and stay there for five breaths. At the end of the fifth breath, slowly walk back with your heels, straighten um, your legs for Dandasana again, stand them up, shoulder blades down, keep the shoulders right above the hips, put your hands next to the hips, just on the fingertips, bend your right leg and put your right feet in contact with the inner uh, left leg. Okay. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, inhale deeply with the exhalation, roll your hips forward and put your hands on the ground on either side of the left leg. Stand them up. Yes. To help you lift the sternum, just look in front of you will be easier. Yes. Three breaths. Arms relaxed. At the end of the third breath, try and roll your hips even further and try and push your belly toward the leg. And again, three breaths. Keep on looking in front of you. Keep on relaxing shoulders and arms. Yes, yes Ruth, perfect. Sternum up. At the end of the third. Try and go one millimeter more. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, relax the shoulders, relax the arms, the hands. And slowly come up. Stretching your right leg, bend your left leg, put your um, left feet in contact with the inside right leg. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, inhale deeply. With the exhalation, roll your hips forward and put your hands either side of the right leg. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Look in front of you, relax your shoulders, arms, hands. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, roll your hips even further, stand them up, shoulder blades down, relax your shoulders, and clench your jaw. At the end of the third, go forward one more millimeter. Still relaxing your shoulders, arms, hands, face. And slowly come up. Lay down, but lift your legs up to the sky. Put your hands close to the buttocks, inhale, with the exhalation start lowering the right leg, the left leg is still up to the sky and stop your right leg at 45 degrees, stop there. Beautiful, inhale, and lower your right leg 
almost to the ground, almost touching the ground. Left leg is still up to the sky. You can do it. Lift your left leg, Jackie. <laughs> and slowly lift your right leg. Put both legs up to the sky. Inhale. And with the exhalation, start lowering the left leg. So about 45 degrees. Bit higher roof. Yes. No, a little bit too much. Look, yeah, there. <laughs> Perfect. Keep both legs straight. And lower the left leg, almost touching the ground. Three breaths. But the right le uh, leg is still up to the sky. And straight, not bent. Not like that. <laughs> you can do it. Come on. Yes, I know that it's the abdominal muscles. <laughs> Lift your legs up to the sky again. <laughs> Command your legs. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I know that it's working the, the abdominal muscles. <laughs> Yes, we need to do that too, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, series again. Stretching your legs up to the sky, but grab your legs. So keep my, yes, perfect, just behind your uh, knees. And now focus on uh, creating a straight line. No bending knees. Yes. Let's completely straight. Three breaths. Completely straight. Activate your quadriceps. Completely straight. Go. 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 Three more. Almost there. Keep your legs straight. Okay, and release. Now, put your right leg down to the uh, right feet down to the ground. Knee bent. Okay. Lift your left leg and grab your left leg around the calf, calf muscles. Okay. Push with the right feet against the ground. Doing so, you will rotate slightly your hips. And now, keep your left leg stretch. Um, straight, sorry. Completely straight. Three breaths. If you can, you can also walk with your hands up to the heel. But keep your legs straight. Keep on pushing, especially Jackie, keep on pushing your knees down. Last moments. Activate your quadriceps. And slowly change leg. Left feet down to the ground. Lift your right leg. Grab your leg behind your calf. Push with the left feet against the ground. Rotate slightly your hip. And start walking on the straight leg. Legs straight, Jackie. More, more, more. If you can keep your legs straight and you can walk even further, then go. But keep your legs straight. Activate your 
Activate your quadricep. The more you activate your quadricep, the more the patella is going up toward the uh, groin, the more the leg will be straight. And slowly put both, both feet down to the ground. Roll on the right side, push with the left hand and sit up. Okay. Um, in case I'm just gonna tell something special for Jackie. Um, since you're quite used not to, to keep your legs completely straight, when you are like this, you, you have a small bend, it's normal because you didn't use lately the, the, the back of the leg completely, so it, it takes time. You can also do the same movement, the same exercises that we did before. You can do with a with either some bricks or also just uh, uh, books, and you can just put your heels over. Um, over the, the, the blocks. In that way, the gravity will help you push the knees down. But, for instance, I really don't have to do that because I have hyperextension on the knees. So my knees, this, this is straight. I can go like that. You see, and this is super bad for your knees. Well, you're a little bit more like this, okay? So if your knees go to the back like this, don't do this variation, never. But if you, uh, if you find that your knees are quite slightly bent in normal days, then you can do this variation. So with the heels over something, it can be books, it can be uh, yoga blocks, and you simply do this. Also with a belt, because sometimes it's hard just to grab your feet. So you can just keep a belt and just doing this movement, it will just push down the, the knees, not naturally, okay? So it's up to you to see if you need, that is, now in this moment, yes, Jackie, you shouldn't do this variation. But um, the more you do the forward bends, the less you will need this variation. Because uh, once that your body will understand that it has to keep the, the leg straight, then you don't need to act like this, because otherwise you may go to the to my condition which is not good <laughs> okay <laughs> the the problem of the hyperextended knees is that if you hyperextend your knees for more than six weeks which i did when i was really young doing uh, ballet then you will never go back to the the central line <laughs> so that's why i tell you this is not good, but I know how to handle now because activating the quadricep is just what I need to control your knees, control my knees and not go to the hyperextension, okay? But you should do maybe another time. <laughs> also, when you do my, um, my on-demand videos, when you see this, you can always put a block under the, the knees and do this variation so it will just go faster. Okay? Perfect. So now, again, bend your knees.
and grab the outer side of your feet. Keep chest and leg together and slowly start walking forward with your heels. Keep chest and leg together. No need to, to go too, too, too far because the idea is to have the control of your body. So as soon as you realize that your chest is no longer in contact with your legs, step back with your legs and go back to the previous position. When you arrive at your maximum, stay there. Five breaths. At the end of the fifth breath, try and go one millimeter more. Again, if you realize that your chest and uh, um, and legs are no more in contact, just walk back. There's not a challenge. Just playing with your body. And now that you're at your maximum, start pushing your knees down. Push your knees down. Activate your quadriceps. Push your knees down. Three breaths. And at the end of the third breath, slowly come up and go back in tabletop position. We didn't even enter tabletop position actually today. So and go in tabletop position. Hands right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. Inhale deeply. With the exhalation, roll your hips forward. Uh, with the inhalation, roll your hips forward and look at the sky. Exhale, roll your hips backward. Push the spine up to the sky and look at your belly. Inhale, roll your hips forward. Roll your arms outward and look at the sky. Exhale, roll your hips backward and push the spine up to the sky. One more time. Okay, now, walk slightly back with your knees. Move your feet as wide as the mat. Tuck your toes under, inhale deeply, and with the exhalation, Move your buttocks back and shoulders down. Keep the shoulders down and start uh, straightening your legs without moving your chest forward. Keep on pushing your chest to the knees. More, 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 more. Three more breaths. At the end of the third breath, Go back in tabletop position. Tap the tailbone slightly under to lengthen the lumbar spine. And walk forward with your, with your hands to lower your chest. Keep your buttocks right over the knees. And push the chest down. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Ruth, just perfect. Jackie, try and uh, roll your hips slightly backward to push the lumbar spine up to the sky. Just the lumbar spine. Yes. Perfect. And keep on pushing the chest down. Now the lumbar spine, the chest. <laughs> I know you hate me. Today you really hate me. I know. And slowly come up. up. 
the more you do, the more it will be easy to, to control the lower part of your chest and the upper part of your chest. Okay. And again, walk back with your knees, put your feet as wide as the mat, tuck your toes under, inhale deeply, and with the exhalation, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Keep your knees bent if needed, but push your chest toward the knees. Try and feel exactly the same feelings that you had in the previous pose. Exactly the same. The movement of the chest is not no more to the ground, but it's to the um, knees or feet, which is exactly what you did before. Inhale deeply, and with the exhalation, walk back with your hands to enter Uttanasa. Keep your legs straight. You can keep your uh, legs, um, your feet apart. It will be easier. Okay. Roll your hips forward and allow the spine, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the neck and the head to move toward the ground. Put the weight of your body on the ball of the feet Stay there and start activating the quadriceps. Imagine that you're pulling your knee cup up to the groin, up to the hips. The more you do so, the more the hamstring will receive the message to lengthen. Now, bend your knees, put your hands on the waist, and slowly come up. Okay. Keep your feet wider than your hips. Put your hands on the waist, and create circles with your hips. Rotate also your hips forward and backwards to activate every vertebra and every small, um, small bit of your lumbar spine. Yay! Turn also on the other side. Beautiful. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Now, step, um, step up with your right leg, quite a big step. And now start rotating the right leg outward and the left leg inward to have the hip squared. Okay, that's perfect. There too, activate, start activating the quadriceps. So lifting the kneecap. Yes, perfect. Put your hands on the waist, inhale deeply, and slowly start rolling the hip forward and lowering the chest. Yes. Keep the right leg really activated. Strong. Beautiful. And 
slowly come up. Change leg. Hip squared. Put your hands on the waist. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Pull up the kneecap. Activate your quadriceps and slowly roll your hips forward and lower your chest. Strong. Active. Stable. And slowly come up. Okay, come in the center of the mat for Tadasana, for balance pose actually. So, first Tadasana, stable pose, find your stability, relax your arms, your hands. Lean on the right leg, bend your left leg, open the left knee to the side and put your left feet in contact with the right leg. Okay. Put your hands in prayer position in front of the chest, sternum up, shoulder blades down, there two, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, keep the base of the hands in contact, keep the thumbs in contact, and keep the small finger in contact. But open, spread your um, index finger, middle finger, and ring finger to create a sort of blooming, bloom um, flower between your hands and lift this flower over your head. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, slowly go back into Tadasana. Find again your stability. Lean on the left leg, bend your right leg, open the right knee to the side, put your right feet against the left Whoa. leg, <laughs> put your hands in prayer position in front of the chest, sternum up, shoulder blades down, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, keep the base of the hands in contact, thumb and small finger in contact, and spread the other fingers to open a flower in your hands. And slowly lift this flower up to the sky. Keep this flower aligned with the top of your head, shoulders down. And slowly lower both hands, arms and legs at the same time. Tadasana again, just for a brief moment. Close your eyes. Open your eyes and go down to the mat again. But now, 
keep your legs spread open like that to the side okay put your hands just in front of your hips stand them up shoulder blades down keep your feet flexed stay there just for a brief moment stand them up also if you hate me stand them up <laughs> Now, put your hand behind your buttocks. Keep your legs straight. Push your knees down so that you lift your knee up up to the groin. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Push with the hands against the ground to open the chest. Three breaths. not the end of the world <laughs> at the end of the third breath put your hands over either thighs or knees or um, shins up to you to find your position keep your um, legs straight super important if you want to if you can you can also put uh, if you have your knees bent naturally, then you can also in this position put um, books right under the heels and push your knees down. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Roll your hips forward. Keep your hands over the, the legs. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. And clench your jaw. And even more, put a smile on your face. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. And slowly come up. I know it's hard, but it's not the end of the world. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, inhale deeply. And with the exhalation, again, roll your hips forward and slide with your hands toward the uh, feet. You don't need to touch your feet if it's too much. It's not a problem. If, on the contrary, it's quite easy, just go. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Not the end of the world. Relax your belly. Relax your face, your shoulders. And slowly come up. Okay. Now put both hands on either side of your left leg. Push with the hands against the ground and try and lift your left leg. Oh, that's impossible! <laughs> that's just impossible, I know! <laughs> Italy, not with the knees bent. <laughs> it's just lifting, just a tiny bit. But I know that it's hard. Okay. And now move to the right side. Push with the hands against the ground and lift the right one. Just, just a few millimeters and down. Up and down. Up and down. Okay. Perfect. I know. I know that it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> now again, roll your hips forward and slide with the hands toward the legs. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Good. 
push the knees down. Mm-hmm. And up again. Okay. Now, bend your right leg. Turn to the left. Put both hands either side of the left leg. Keep the leg straight. Walk forward with both hands and grab the maximum that you can go with both hands. You can also allow the, uh, the right buttocks to lift a tiny bit. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Okay, now that you have a grip either on the leg or on the feet, push down the right buttock. And since it's too easy, <laughs> try and lift a tiny bit the right leg, the left leg. <laughs> okay, that's it. Yay, perfect. The other side, so bend your uh, left leg, put your hands on either side of the right one, walk forward with both hands, get a grip. You can allow your left buttocks to lift a tiny bit. Now that you have a good grip, push the uh, left buttocks down. And even if it's impossible, imagine to lift your, your right leg up. Even if it's impossible. Yes, just do this. Yes, that's perfect. Awesome. Now, again, both feet and both legs straight. Okay. Send them up, shoulder blades down. Put your hands over the knees. Knees down. Down. <laughs> down, 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 down. <laughs> And slowly start walking with your hands toward the ankles or even your feet. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, three breaths. Activate your thighs and push your knees down. Smile. <laughs> the hardest part. <laughs> and slowly come up. Okay. Bada Konasana. Put your hands on your knees and create circles with your lumbar spine both on one side and on the other. Okay. Lay down on the mat. <coughs> Grab your knees. Push your knees toward the chest. Roll right and left side. Okay, now allow the right leg to move down to the ground. Grab your left leg just behind your um, hamstring. Start straightening 
your left leg. Completely straight. I don't want to see any hint of a bend knee. If you feel comfortable, then walk, walk up with your hands to go to your maximum. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, release the left leg, allow the left feet to go down to the ground, lift your right leg, grab the right leg with both hands just behind the hamstring, right leg straight, super straight, And if you feel comfortable, then walk up with your hands but focus on the straight line of your leg. Yes. Release this leg. Now you're gonna hate me, but since you hated me for the oral class, this is not a problem for me. <laughs> not today. Then lift both legs up to the sky. Grab your legs just behind your hamstring. Keep your legs straight completely straight walk up with your hands to your maximum and if you can grab even your toes once that you have a grip on your either legs or feet Start pushing your heels up to the sky and pull your toes to your face. Five breaths. Relax your belly. And clench your jaw. At the end of the fifth breath, bend your knees and prepare for Shavasana. Grab everything you need to be comfortable in Shavasana. So socks, um, eye pillows, blanket, wherever you need to be comfortable in Shavasana. If you have something, yes, it's lightly heavy, then put it over your belly to allow your body to relax even further. Keep the back of your head away from the shoulders and keep the back of the head and the shoulder blades in line, completely flat on the ground. Don't put any pillows behind your head. Keep it in line. Close your eyes. And just for the first moments of Shavasana, observe your body. Observe the freedom, the release that you have in some areas of your body. And be present.
proud of yourself. Before relaxing completely, at the end of Shavasana, I'm going to chant the mantra. And at the end of the mantra, I'm going to guide you out of the pose. Till that moment, just relax. Om Bhur Bhuvasva Tat Savitur Vareniyam Bargo Devasya Timahi Diyo Yonat Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvasva Tat Savitur Vareniyam Vargo devasya dimahi diyo yo enat prachodayat om bhur bhuvasvaha tat 
vitur varenia. Bargo de vasia di mai, di yo yo nat pracho daya. Really slowly. Start moving your toes and fingers. Bring back the awareness into your body. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully with your mouth. Release any tension. One more time. Bend your knees. Roll on your right side. Stay on your right side for a brief moment before sitting comfortably for the chant of three arms. your spine straight, get relaxed. Put your hands with um, thumb and index finger together, either with the palm of the hand facing the sky or the ground, whichever is more comfortable for you. Eyes closed. Put your hands in prayer position in front of the chest, open your eyes, namaste.